Hi folks, it's Andy. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, just a quick, uh, another video for you. <laughs> uh, we're going to do another sort of, um, this is more of a translation. I, I think I'd rather call this translation rather than analysis, because I'm going to try to keep my opinion out of it. Um, we're going to look at some more of uh, Furukawa Sensei's Kendo. Um, I know it's the third video like this I've done in a row now. Uh, and yeah, I know I'm fanboying a little bit, but Furukawa Sensei is pretty awesome. Uh, but more more actually, it's that um, lots of people have asked me after we did um, a video from this particular series, actually, uh, last week talking about Jordan. They asked me to talk about this specific video. I've had quite a few people ask me about it. So that's why we're looking at it this week and then we'll move on to something else probably next time okay um the video itself uh yeah it's uh like last week it's from quite an old video um an instructional video that uh furukawa sensei uh was involved in uh quite some time ago uh, i don't have an exact date but it's uh, i'm sure it's it's a good 20 years old or more um it's from this channel here uh so yeah go and uh Go and check those this channel out. It's a really great channel. Is Logan Bridge definitely should uh, subscribe to them. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that sort of thing. You know, you know, you know what to do there. Um, also, like I say, I, I'm not. I said this last time. I'm not a native Japanese speaker. Okay, um, I'll do my best to translate this on the fly as we go through. Uh, but I might make mistakes, and if I do, uh, let me know in the comments down below uh don't forget to shop at kendo star as well uh if you like the content that we put out if you like this channel if you like what we do and if it brings you any value at all then you really need to be shopping at kendo star because <laughs> not only uh is that what makes this possible uh, not only is kendo star uh and the kendo show uh the only sort of things that are working together in conjunction to bring this amount of content out especially in this time uh where lots of us aren't able to train at a dojo um but, you know, Kendo Star's equipment's amazing. <laughs> I would say that because I own the company, right? Um, you know, full di disclosure, but it is amazing stuff. Um, and if you don't believe me, you can check out our, our ratings with by far the highest rated shop online. Uh, but like I say, uh, don't forget when all this uh, this uh, lockdown and isolation stuff's over, who it was that brought all this stuff to you. So, yeah, <laughs> get to kendostar.com. Uh, right, let's get into this video. So next we'll talk about ski. So he says, uh, as before, now I don't know what he's referring to here because I don't have the full video, uh, like the full video in context. So I'm not sure what he was talking about exactly before this. Um, but he says, as before, when you're doing ski, you should step in and apply semi to the chushin, to the center line. So, uh, when the opponent's uh, kamae opens or their kensen opens uh, in response to your seme, here's what to do, okay? So, in the case where they open um, in response to your seme, then you can step in straight away and do ski. From semi. So uh, he understands that lots of people are not very good at doing ski. So lots of people that just try to hit just with the right hand. So lots of people, they try to just, just jump forward and hit with their upper body in the right hand. He mentions the right hand. Um, it, they aren't able to do it accurately. <laughs> he said, he said uh, of course, I'm uh, like accomplished at doing ski. So even when he does with his right hand, he hits the target. Uh, but his point is, is that most people don't. <laughs> But instead, you have to use your left hand and your hips as you step forward for your ski. So, 
So with ski waza, so ski techniques, um, there's uh, from the omote side, so and the ura side. That's the side of the shinai. Okay. So uh, normally the swords um, are crossing on the omote side, uh, but he's saying that you should be able to do tsuki from the omote side and from the ura side. Uh, and if you're not able to do from both sides, then you won't find ski to be a useful technique. Sometimes when you apply seme and step in, the I, the opponent uh, tries to press down on your shinai from above. Just before we were talking about when the opponent opens their kamae as you step in. But uh, in the case where they press over the shinai like this, of course, if you try to ski the person that's doing this just as you are, uh, you'll miss. So, of course, you can't just decide to do the ski randomly, um, like again, especially against this person. So instead, when they step in and they uh, press down on the shinai, then you can do ski from the ura side, the, the underneath. He goes underneath and does ski that way. So obviously this is difficult, uh, but if you don't, um, you know, I don't think that, he's, I think he said there's, uh, it's difficult to do ski from the other side, but um, you must use your lower body and your hips, um, otherwise it's, it's not going to work. So you apply seme to the omote side, when they press, then you attack from the ura side. So this is a good practice to do. Applying semi to omote and then attack ura. This could also connect to uh, Nisan Dan Waza, so two or three step techniques. So, for example, uh, maybe you try to make the ski on the opponent um, parries or blocks out of the way, pushes the shinai out of the way. You can um, follow up with the men strike on both sides. And these are the two examples he just spoke about. So he also says that this connects to your men striking. Yeah, because if you practice this type of ski waza, you'll learn to um, move forward from your hips, uh, which connects to your men waza. So uh, if you concentrate on having the good kamae from the shizentai posture, correct posture, uh, and moving forward from your lower body, um, then the kote strikes, men strikes, door strikes, and ski strikes actually all become um, essentially the same. Okay, so that was all about uh, Tsuki. That's uh, Furukawa Sensei's teachings on Tsuki. Um, there you go. Uh, like I say, lots of people requested uh, this um, 
you know, uh, this video. Um, it is only the first part of it. There is more. He talks about um, Katate Hanmen, which is a strike with one hand um, to the men. And he talks about Gakudo as well. Uh, I'm not going to cover all of those um, in this particular video. Uh, I will look for something else to probably talk about next time as well. Uh, but I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, join the Kendo Show Early Access Group. Link in the description down below. Uh, and shop at Kendo Star. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you all next time.